Yes, my viewers and subscribers, I thank you for keeping up with me. If it's your first time on my channel, do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I touched on another USA again. Mike Pompero, Iran is responsible for attack on tankers in Gulf of Oma today. That was 10 minutes ago, according to the CNN news, that he said that. Here's the details. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Iran is responsible for attacks on two ships in the Gulf of Orma on Thursday. It is the assessment by the United States government that the Islamic Republic of Iran is responsible for the attack that occurred in the Gulf of Orma today. Pompeo told reporters at the U.S. State Department, he continued, this assessment is based on intelligence, the weapon use, the level of expertise needed to execute the operation, recent similar Iranian attack on shipping, the fact that no proxy group operating in the area has the resource and proficiency, proficiency to act with such a high degree of sophistication. So this is what he has to say, that the, those attacks on the ship, the Gulf, was attacked by the Iranians. The attacks were well-coordinated, Tank Owners Association say. The two tanks attack on the Gulf of Omer this morning were it at or below the waterline in close proximity to the engine room while underway, according to the International Association of Independent Tank Owners. Then I said, these appear to be well-planned and coordinated, said the Intertanko said. So all this one looks at and Pompeo came out and he exactly said it just like it, it, he thought it was that it has to be the Iranians that did this. U.S. Navy spotted an odd explode mine attached to one of the ship, officials says. The crew of the USS Brainbridge report that they saw an unexplored limpet mine on the side of one of the ship attacked today in the Gulf of Oman. According to a U.S. defense official familiar with the matter. What that means, a limpet mine is used, is a type of mine that is attached to the side of a hull using magnet. Limpet mines were also suspected to be used in the May attack on four oil tankers on the coast of the United Arab Emirate. The, e, the um, the EAU conclude that a state actor is the most likely culprit and criminal analyst of the derbies recovered in May reveal. It is likely that limpet mines were deployed. What happened now? Additionally, U.S. Navy ships are expected to head to the area in the coming hours of, for security patrolling, help miners to get back to port, and potential assist in arranging for tankers to be towed to port, the source said. About uh -oh, one forty-four minutes ago, a satellite image appeared to show smoke rising from oil tankers after attack. CNN, CNN had obtained a satellite image that appeared to take um, to show smoke rising from the front alt ear tanker after it has been damaged in the Gulf of Oman attack. The strong glint on the water is caused by ref light reflecting. If one take really take a look at it. About two hours and eight minutes ago, photos show damage of oil tankers front altier in the Gulf of Oman. So all this has led to saying that it's the Iranians who have done all this. The front ear oil tanker was one of the two ships that was apparently attacked in the Gulf of Oman Thursday. The Norwegian Maritime Agency said that three explosions were led 
were reported on the the board the Marshall Island flag frontier oil tanker, which is owned by the Bermuda based Norwegian company Frontline. The company said that a fire broke out of an explosion and that's the cause of the blast. All these are leading up that one look back on to realize that one has to be in a close proxy to um to really uh, damage the tanker and to have that explosion this morning. And even though Mike Pompier had no concrete evidence, but the backlashes of what happened and how the smoke was give the view that it has to be, as one said, a sabotage because the tanker were it so close. It has to be. They said it's not a missile. One would have seen it on the on the cameras the, or whatever. It has to be something that was attached to the ship. I'm just reflecting on all this just to let us have a view of what is really happening out there on the water. You see, two ships involved, one carrying oil, another transporting a cargo of chemicals was stuck in international water near the strategic um, import strout of Hermos. These are all things that brings to the, the conclusion why today Pompeius can say that it's the Iranians that um, attacked the tanker in Gulf of Oman. This is the, this is the Apostle out of Zurich. Just trying to clear up a few things that those of us out there who don't really listen to the news much. I just wanted to have a little more extra insight. Thank you all for listening. Shalom.